Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm about to go out, so I figured I'd film my everyday makeup look. I don't know if my makeup look is a bit extra. I feel like, now that I think about it, it's a bit much for every day, but I don't know. It's just my personal preference. I don't know, I just love eyelashes lately. I don't feel complete without them, but I feel like everybody wears eyelashes these days or like has eyelash extensions, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, but anyways, let's just get into it. I'm gonna start with some moisturizer. So, sad thing is I just ran out of my foundation. Normally I wear Fenty foundation, so this is what I'm gonna do instead, just to cover up like any imperfections. What I do is I use the, the L'Oreal Mercier powder and um, I'm using the translucent medium deep. So what I like to do is take my brush and tap like just a little bit into my skin. I noticed the difference already in just putting a bit of powder. It already blurs out my skin and makes it just look a bit more seamless. I don't know if it translates well on camera, but in person, honey, she'd be looking much better. I miss my foundation though, because the coverage was so good. This is like a more natural coverage, but it'll do. Oh my gosh, I forgot something else again. Oh. Oh my goodness, this video is about to be so chaotic. All right, so now that I've applied my, applied, now that I've applied my powder, I like to go in with my got to be and just put some on the eyebrows, you know? I know that like feathering eyebrows has been like a look lately. I don't like it too crazy, but it's just, I just bought a new eyebrow pencil and it's been making like very hair like strokes so i like my eyebrows to naturally match that so i just put a little bit on my brush i think i put a bit too much now don't go using gorilla glue i said got to be don't nobody come for me don't nobody sue me okay i think i need a little bit more Ooh, the sun is coming out let me roll this up that the sun can come forth and shine on me. Sorry, this is so chaotic. Oh my gosh. Don't worry about it. All right, so that is what I do with my eyebrows. While I let that dry, I go in with my concealer. I'm using the Age, wow, this is old. Age Rewind uh, Maybelline Concealer. Good remembering. Thank you. Yes. And normally, like with this, you can just swoop it, right? But I used it so aggressively that like the thing broke. So now you see how there's concealer coming out the middle. I just take my beauty blender and dab it and then just put it under my eyes. I just got this beauty blender and I'm not like 100% used to it yet. So it feels kind of weird. Okay, she's like concealed enough. And I like to put a bit on my chin. By now, the eyebrows should be dry, which they are. So, we're gonna get into oh, one of my favorite parts of my makeup routine, which is doing my eyebrows. Because eyebrows gotta be on fleek at all times. So, this is my new, this is my new favorite product. Um, I got it from NYX. It's the Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen. Um, and it's supposed to kind of mimic like microblading in a way. But I just really like it because it's this really like fine pen. My, my focus is not gonna do anything. Anyways, it's a really like fine tip pen. It's a really fine tip pen. I've said this like 10 times now. Oh my gosh, what's wrong with me? <laughs> the strokes, like the hairline strokes. Hairline? What? My brain has left. The hair like strokes are ridiculous. Anyways, oh my gosh. So yeah, don't don't mind me. I'm gonna try and do this without blocking the camera. You gotta shake it a little bit. So 
So obviously the eyebrows are looking crazy. We're not gonna leave them like this. So now I'm gonna go in with my concealer, um, the same Maybelline one. I'm just gonna use my little brush, little concealer brush. I think I got this, yeah, from e.l.f. Super cheap. And then we're just gonna line the bottom of the eyebrows. And this is nice to do too, because then you don't have to worry too much about doing your eyebrows perfectly. Then you can just like cover up any mistakes with concealer. I like to blend it a bit with my fingers before I go in with another brush. I wonder if one day I'm gonna be looking at these videos and I'm gonna be like, ew, what was I doing? <laughs> I don't know why that thought just came to mind. We'll see. I feel like you always think like you're doing something well in the moment and then like a year or two later you're like ew what was that and i think about that a lot all right so um now that i'm done with that i like to kind of blend everything out uh with this fit me maybelline powder um and 355 coconut just gonna go in with my brush and blend that out especially around eyebrows because we don't want those harsh concealer lines. My lips are feeling dry, so I'm gonna just moisturize them a little bit. Hey guys, I'm just editing the video right now and I've been cringing from the beginning because I did not realize how ashy my lips were and I'm very upset about it. Like, how did homegirl not notice? How did she not talk and her lips went crisp? Like, I just want to take this time to enjoy the fact that I am finally putting on lip balm. That is all. Back to our regularly scheduled program. Bye. I'm just using the, the Blistex, you know, one everybody has. Why does everybody have this though? Like, how did that happen? Yay for Blistex. We must be happy. All right, so I only started wearing eyelashes since the end of last year. Um, so I'm still not an expert. And I found that every single time I put eyelash glue directly on the eyelashes and then put them on, they would always move, they would never stick. Even if I waited like a minute for the glue to dry, it would always slip and then leave marks everywhere. So now what I do is I apply the eyelash glue on my lid like eyeliner, but you have to be really careful about doing this because if you don't do it properly, you get eyelash glue in your lashes and then it's a whole thing to take out. But if you guys want, I can do a video on how to remove eyelash glue because I feel like Weirdly, like a lot of people don't know how, like I didn't know how. And I feel like it's just something everybody should know because you don't want to go to sleep still having eyelash glue in your lashes. That's how you get infections and styes and all that. They're not fun. All right, so I just applied my eyelash glue. If it's a bit messy, um, like don't worry about it as long as it's not all over the place, but it's nice to have a Q-tip handy just in case you need to remove anything. I either use this little tool from KISS or I just use my fingers. Basically, I just grab these, take my mirror, make sure I'm applying properly. Right, so that's what it's looking like with the eyelashes. Um, sometimes I go in with a bit of eyeliner if I feel like there's like a part that's showing in my skin. Yes, the sun is out. Sun came out to say hello. So anyways, um, I've just put some concealer under my eyes. So now I'm gonna do some light contouring using the Morphe palette. <laughs> Morphe where? Morphe who? 
she done been used. I'm using Second Nature 3502. I go in with my angled brush and I'm using this color. So I like to just lightly tap it and then just contour the nose a little bit. Wow, in the sun, I look sunburnt when I do this though. So don't, don't do too much. Don't do too much or else you're gonna look burnt. Then I like to pretty much do the same thing with my cheekbones. I go in with the same color. Isn't this so pretty? This color is just... Oh, shout out to God for bringing the sun to me. Okay, and then I go in with my smaller Morphe palette. This one actually says Morphe. And it's Brunch Babe 15B. I like to go in with the... What is this? A something mimosa. I've used it so much I can't even see what it says. But I love to do this. Just like this is it's probably one of my favorite parts of doing my makeup. I don't know why I'm obsessed with my nose, but it, I love doing that. I just think it's so cute. I always do this. And then I put some highlight under my eyebrows. Brighten up my face. Then I go in my inner corners. And then I don't always do this just because my skin already kind of has a natural glow. So I don't always need to put highlighter. But since the sun is here, why not? Then I just go in with the same exact color I used uh, on my nose. It's this, I don't know if you can see. It's this color here, like it's gone. Don't even worry about it. She's gone. I think it's called Bottom Mimosas or, or Bottomless Mimosas, that's what it's called. That's what the color is, Bottomless Mimosas. Drink safely. I don't even know if you can see that. The sun's like, don't worry, you can't outshine me. Anyways, it's there. Or maybe I'm just, I've used so much that it's like not even coming out anymore. I wouldn't even be surprised, to be honest. I've put a lot of powder around my eyebrows. They're, they've kind of faded a little bit, so then I like to go in with my eyebrows one more time just to make sure everything is looking sharp and defined. But tell me my eyebrows don't look fire. Oh! Last step is my lips. You wanna make sure your lips are already moisturized. Um, then I'm gonna go in with this lip liner from Maybelline, Color Sensational Shaping Liner, and it's 120 rich chocolate. Disclaimer, if you're a brown skin girl, this color is not chocolate. This color basically gives me red lips, if I'm being very honest. So what I like to do is just line my lips. Like, do you see? It's pretty much the color. It's like a deeper version of the pink of my lips. It's not even brown. I don't know what's considered like overlining, but I don't think I overline. Like, this, this, yeah, that's my lip shape. Because I don't have brown lip liner, this is a little tip. If you have brown eyeshadow, use a brush that you haven't used before so you don't get bacteria on your lips. And then I'm gonna go in with this brown color. So I tap that. And you wanna make sure your lips are moisturized so that it goes on nicely. You just wanna put that in. Just like dab it. But you see how it creates more of a of a brown line around the lips. 
which is what I'm going for, but then I don't want it too, too brown, which is why I put um, this lip liner underneath and then I go back in with it on top so that I get a nice blend of both of these colors. Then I like to go in with this lipstick. <laughs> this lipstick I got at Primark when I was in Europe like two years ago. Um, and it's in the color Velvet Touch, but it's pretty much just like a pinkish color. So that's pretty much the color I like to go for. I think it's really pretty. It has an ombre-ish effect that I really like. All right, so we all know what the final step is, that setting spray. So I'm just gonna spray that lightly over my face. I'm loving this look. Let me take this. Oh, she's a babe. All right, guys, so this is pretty much my everyday makeup look. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know if you are feeling this look like I am. And look, God made the sun come through. I'm just loving this look. Let me know in the comments um, what your favorite part of the makeup routine was, or if you're really loving this look, you want to try it yourself, um, or just any products you recommend I use. I'm looking for lip liners and for eyelash glue. I think those were the two things I said. So if you know, if you have a favorite brand of either of those things, hook your girl up. But anyways, thanks so much for watching guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.